Well, it is 37 just north of Detroit right now, but it is 83 in central Missouri. Obviously, we've got a warm front setting up here uh, to our southwest, and that will play a factor on the weather really tonight as well as tomorrow with some showers and some storms. A little mass of showers has congealed into a pocket of rain that is now moving out of eastern Illinois, but you'll notice it's it looks like it's going to pass mainly in the southern half of the viewing area. So about 50% coverage of the rain peaking around 9. And then a lot of this will get out of here. It'll dry out just a little bit. And then as we get into the overnight hours, more rain on the way after this passes on through. Of course, you can see it approaching from the west, approaching Attica, Lafayette, and Crawfordsville right now. Overnight tonight, a lot of storms will form right here. They'll kind of gel together, and that wave of rain and storms will pass early Friday morning and then tend to taper somewhat. Friday afternoon, but in the meantime, it's clouding up. Uh, we've got some showers on the way for the evening hours, a wave of, sh of showers and even a few storms early tomorrow morning, tapering somewhat tomorrow afternoon, but there could be a severe storm or two as they taper off and we start to warm up and speaking of warming up, uh, temperatures near if not at record warm levels as we get into Sunday and Monday we will have severe weather threat Monday and then much cooler 45 to 50 tonight 47 Lafayette and Monticello to about 48 at Attica and then tomorrow the warm front will lift northward so 61 Rochester about 74 at Perryville and 68 at Lafayette and as the warm front lifts northward on the tail end of any of that rain there could be an isolated severe storm or two with maybe some large hail maybe an isolated little tornado threat. And then Saturday with the front about right here, there could be a shower or storm up towards Rochester, Peru and Logansport. The rest of the viewing area mostly sunny, 75 Lafayette, but 67 Madariville and 76 at Petersburg. So let's put this all into perspective into one map here. Uh, after 62 today, we'll see quite a bit of severe weather develop to our west tonight. That cluster will pass through early tomorrow morning, tend to taper somewhat tomorrow afternoon. But as the warm front lifts northward, right on the tail end, a couple isolated severe storms passing through Saturday 75, 82 on Sunday before the severe weather threat arrives on Monday. And then it's much cooler. Some frost as we end next week, perhaps as low as 30, 31 degrees. But it won't last very long. In fact, we'll be back into the 60s uh, by later on next week. 70 forecast. OK, 68 tomorrow, 75 Saturday, 82 on Sunday and 81 Monday. And then the cool down, but it's back to 64 on Thursday, but not after a 31. Gina. It is a spring forecast. Some rain, some sun, and some uh, frost. So. And severe weather to <laughs> throw it all together. Absolutely. All right, Jeff.